bring me my daughter. I want my daughter back. You don't have a daughter. You're nine years old. If I find you, I'll kill you. Of that, I promise. Jesus. Hello, Mrs. Flanagan. Who do we have here today? No, it's little Tommy. Oh, he's getting big, isn't he? Bring her to me. I'll say no more about it. Alright. Sorry about this, Doctor. He seems to have got it in his head that he's Liam Neeson. Oh, I see. I can't take him anywhere. It's mortifying. Oh, it's nothing to be ashamed of, Mary. Tell me, what were the initial symptoms? Did it start off with little Alex Guinness, perchance? These are the droids you're looking for. He did, Doctor, yes. Did you hear a little Yoda at any point? Yes, and we did have a stubborn Wookiee for a few days as well. <sighs> I see. Well, it sounds to me like he's had a little Star wars -icus. It's very common at this time of year. And he would have picked that up from a playground with some of his friends. But at the moment, from what I've heard, he seems to be suffering from a more serious Neeson. A serious Neeson, Doctor? Yes, a boy of his age should normally only be exposed to the Star Wars Liam Neeson, but this Neeson he's developed is from the film Taken, where he played a retired CIA agent who tried to rescue his daughter from kidnappers who planned on selling her for prostitution. Oh boy. Yes, so you can see it's a bit of a concern. What I'm going to do, I think, is refer to a specialist in this field. Is it that serious, Doctor? No, 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 it's just a precautionary measure. He hasn't quoted anything from Schindler's list yet, has he? Not my eyes, Doctor, no. Oh, that's good. No, it's best to catch these things early. I had a boy in here, only the other day with a full-blown De Niro virus. My God! Yes, I know. And we're not talking with the Fokker's De Niro, oh no. This was a taxi driver De Niro. He was all, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? It was a nightmare of an examination. The poor little mite. Okay, so we will get a letter through telling you when his appointment is. But in the meantime, try and keep him away from the box at DVDs. Yes, Doctor, thank you. Right, Thomas, come on. Good boy, Thomas. If it's a ransom you're after, I don't have any money. He doesn't need your money, he's a doctor. Come on. Thanks for your time, doctor. Not at all, Mary. Oh dear, poor little fella. I'm not feeling very well myself, actually. <coughs> what do you got? Oh god, I think I'm coming down with a little Pacino.